Hello everybody, Tim here with another movie review, this time for Isle of Dogs. This is the new film directed by Wes Anderson, and it's another stop-motion uh, movie in the same vein as his other film, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and this is his first film since 2014's The Grand Budapest Hotel, which I think is a flawless movie. So, um, Isle of Dogs, the story here is that it takes place in the future, in Japan, and uh, a breakout of dog flu has broken out through the city, and the mayor has decided to make this uh, garbage island a place where they can exile the dogs to go and live. To keep the city safe from the dog flu, basically. And um, that's about all I want to say. This movie's hilarious. It's heartwarming. It's entertaining as hell. But it's not what I expected, which is different. Um, I expected it to be more in the vein of Fantastic Mr. Fox, but this is definitely not a kid's film. This is definitely a Wes Anderson movie with some, you know, it, it's about dogs, but it is rated PG-13. There is some uh, dark, dark stuff. There's some language. There's vi very violent sequences, very intense sequences that I was not expecting, but for me, that doesn't diminish the film, but just as a fair warning to those of you who are maybe thinking this might be a family fun time film, I definitely think it still could be, but definitely think about that PG-13 rating before you go to see the movie. Edward Norton's one of the main dogs in this Isle of Dogs, and he's fantastic. His voice just fits so well in this movie, and there's, there's so many people in here. Uh, Jeff Goldblum... Leave Schreiber, uh, there's there's just a ton of wonderful, wonderful people. Bill Murray. And then there's also Brian Cranston, who does an amazing job as more or less the leader of the pack of dogs that we're following um, in this movie. And he's just so good as just the voice of this dog. That's the thing. All the voices are fantastic. They do such a good job. And Wes Anderson, it, it's everything is so meticulously placed. It's wonderful. This movie's wonderful. I don't really have a lot more to say about it other than it's not my favorite Wes Anderson movie. I think that is still held by Rushmore, um, but it's definitely not my least favorite. And it's just it's just a good Wes Anderson movie. And if you haven't seen any of his movies, this might not be for you. I would try checking out something like a Fantastic Mr. Fox or a Rushmore or the Grand Budapest Hotel, something to kind of get your feet wet, because if you don't like the style, this is not going to be for you. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Isle of Dogs. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and be sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe. It helps me out a great deal, and it helps you stay up to date with all of my rambling, crazy nonsense reviews. Well, anyway, guys, again, thanks as always for watching, and until next time, have a good one.